Hello, everybody. My name is David Lemon. I am the community manager in Groove Digital as a company, and I'm the person doing the video trainings for you guys uh, so that you are able to actually use this suite of tools uh, up to your best advantage and then do something with it. Basically, create your businesses, create your pages, sell uh, things online, and things like this. So my job is to actually make the users happy inside the Facebook group, to give them proper training, to give them proper guidance so that they can actually take these tools and create something awesome for themselves. And as we know, we got a lot of new users coming in all the time. Uh, we have a very, very powerful marketing system inside GrooveFunnels and People are actually doing the promotion for us. We're doing the promotion as well on our side. So there's a lot of new people coming in and a lot of them are asking, where do I start? What do I do? What is Groove Pages? What is Groove Funnels? What is Groove this, Groove that? Um, so I think this is a good idea to create a step-by-step -step beginner's guide to these apps. So today you can watch the first one of these and this is the complete beginner's guide to working with Groove Pages. Groove Pages is the most popular app at this point. I need to point it out at this point uh, because it is not the the last app that I will be reviewing. So this is just out now it is in beta mode and you can do a lot of awesome stuff with it. Uh, so I just wanted to introduce you to this tool so that you can start using it in case you were having difficulties understanding, okay, I signed up for this free account or I purchased a platinum paid account and I don't know where to start. I don't know what to do. Well, this is for you. You're in the right place. So just stand, uh, come by and then watch this video uh, onwards. We will explain everything. Also, at the end of the, the video, at the end of my presentation, I will be having uh, the Q&A session. So in case I didn't mention something that you wanted to learn just please ask it in the comments below so this is it this is what we are doing today and then I would like in case you are watching this live stream um, please jump into the comment section say hi David I'm new I'm ready to learn I'm excited or something like that just so that I can welcome you on our, our live stream and then just uh, tell uh, mention your name just welcome you over here and then see who is actually joined us okay perfect so i have christine case she is over here saying hello david lemon community manager uh yeah leonard simmons thank you for sharing you are welcome uh tamara salerno hi david uh they're watching on youtube hi tamara it's good to have you here uh dorothy mcdonald is watching us saying hello uh, Jennifer Lynn, uh, yes, always recording. So I, I think this is somebody answering if we will have a replay of it. We will have a replay. So in case somebody asks this question later on, uh, we will have a replay. You are free to answer them this. Rob is watching us saying, hey, David. Hey, Rob, it's good to have you here. Uh, Dennis is watching us. Dennis from Quebec. Um, Tina is watching us on YouTube. Uh, Leonard again saying, hi, David. Uh, I have a Facebook user here saying, hi, David. I'm new with a lifetime plan, ready to learn. Awesome. This is what we like to see, people that are ready to learn. Um, I have Connor here. I have another Facebook user. So if I read your comment and you came up as a Facebook user, as this person or this person, oh, sorry, not <laughs> uh, this person over here, I would like you to just head over to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. This is the, the StreamYard is the app we are using for live streaming for YouTube, for Facebook at the same time. So in case you're watching us from Facebook, head over to, uh, to StreamYard.com forward slash Facebook. This would allow me to actually see your name. For example, as Connor did it already, it is showing up so I can see his uh, profile image and his name. But somebody else didn't do it yet. So I can only see uh, them as a Facebook user without a profile image. So in case you will have any questions later on, it is good so that I can see your name. Uh, so I would ask you please just to head over to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook. You just press a button. It is just uh, saying approve. You approve uh, StreamYard to actually access your, your name and your profile image. And then this will allow me to actually uh, communicate with you.
So I have Lucy a property saying hi, David. I have Carmen. Hello, always good to be here. Um, awesome. Christine shared out the link. So in case you're watching on Facebook, you can just cling to, uh, click to this link uh, that Christine shared out. So it will be easier than just typing into your address bar. Uh, Eric is watching us saying hi, David Lemon. Hi, Eric. It's good to have you here. Uh, Sydney watching us. What's up, David? <laughs> I'm good. How are you, Sydney? Um, Carmen is saying hi to Christine. Hello, David. I'm here, my friend. Thank you. So your friend, this is uh, very good that you are here. Uh, this will be very helpful when you are answering people in the in the Facebook group. Um, <laughs> Rob is saying their mask is covering their name. <laughs> yeah, correct. Um, so Tracy uh, saying done. Okay, awesome. So Tracy, I can see your name now. In case you approved StreamYard, I can actually see it now. Thank you very much. Uh, awesome. So we have a very good crowd here that are watching us. And I do hope this will be helpful for a lot of you in case you just got into this uh, Groove Funnels, Groove Pages, Groove Digital type of thing. And you don't know what you what you need to do, then this will be the video for you. Um, so I just want to mention that I will be having as I, as I did previously, I will be having a Q&A session at the end of this training. So in case you have any questions, please put a Q dash and ask your question there or question dash and then ask your question. This will ask, actually let me make it, uh, this will make it easier for me to actually track the, the questions that are intended for me or in case you are question or writing a question for somebody else maybe chatting in the in the facebook comments or on or on youtube then please don't uh, use this queue um, because then i will not be answering those questions so in case you have a question for me please mention q dash and then ask your question or at least or type it out question dash how to do 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 this way, I can easily follow it. I can scroll through the questions and then easily uh, see if there is something intended for me. Awesome. So this is basically the introduction. I think we are ready to start with the training. I don't want to uh, make this any uh, anything um, any this intro any longer. I have Elden is joining us. Elden is on from New Zealand. Um, hello, David. Glad to be here. New to all of this. So I. Thank you for joining us. Uh, if I could ask you, please, to just head over to streamyard.com forward slash Facebook, this one over here, then this will let me actually see your name when you are commenting. For example, as Tracy did it, she, when she comments now, I can see her name and the profile image. But when you are actually commenting, I can only see Facebook user and your profile image is not there. So please head over to StreamYard.com, approve this app, and then I will be able to see your comments. But yes, so there's a lot of people asking, what is Groove Funnels? What is Groove Pages, Groove This, Groove That, Groove Digital? So Groove Funnels is an actual suite of apps, and the best way for me to actually show it to you and to, to demonstrate is by comparing it to something. So there is a lot of apps that use, uh, or there is a lot of companies that use um, one name for a suite of different apps. So it's not only one app has one name, but it, there is a, like a package that has multiple different products under this one name. And this is GrooveFunnels. So GrooveFunnels is very similar to Microsoft Office. You know, if you are a user of Windows or, or Microsoft products, you know that there is Microsoft Word. Uh, this is for typing in documents. There is Excel. There is PowerPoint for doing presentations. There is Outlook. Uh, there is OneDrive, Access, Publisher, OneNote, and things like this. Basically, you don't have to know all these apps, but all of these apps under one roof, they are called Microsoft Office. And this is very similar uh, to what we did at GrooveFunnels. So in case you see GrooveFunnels, GrooveFunnels is a similar suite of tools that have Groove Pages, Groove Cell, Groove Mail, Groove Member, Groove Video, Groove Card, Webinar Groove, Groove Pay, and many, many more. These are just some that I took screenshots of uh, that are going to be coming up very soon. But this is GrooveFunnels. So GrooveFunnels is a package of different products. Uh, today, we will be mentioning GroovePages. We will be going through 
the beginning, uh, basically, how to start uh, working with Groove Pages. What are the tools? What can you create with it? Where where should you click to do certain elements? But you have to be aware that Groove Pages is a tool that lets you create a lot of different things, and for certain builds you would require certain knowledge i am doing a lot of different trainings on uh, on how to create for example a book landing page how to create an opt-in page how to create a different websites for example so you can do a lot of different things with groove pages um it just need you just need to know what you will be creating let's say you have a hairdress hair salon and you want to create a website for your hair salon so you want to create an actual website that has your services on there that has a contact us page maybe an about us page uh maybe some pricing page or something like this so this is a complete website with multiple pages on there you can create this in groove pages it is it is not very hard you can follow uh, for example my tutorials I, you create one page then you create another page for contact us then you create another page for about us you create a pricing page and things like this it is just different for everybody somebody wants to create uh, a lead generation page where people come there leave their email addresses and they there sign up for their for the creators email email list um, so you would need to know exactly what you want to build so this is the first thing know what you want to build then you will know what you need to focus on on what tools on what tasks on what uh, uh, structure to follow okay so Awesome. I have a couple of other people that joined us here. I'm very happy to see uh, very familiar faces in here. So yes, this is GrooveFunnels, a suite of apps that has that have multiple different purposes. For example, Groove Pages, what we will be mentioning today, is an easy to use page and funnel builder. Uh, Groove Cell is something that you will use to sell your products. Groove Mail will be an autoresponder for your email marketing needs. A uh, Groove member will be uh, for creating membership sites or, or course sites or basically sites where you, you want to allow uh, customers or users to create uh, their own accounts and then using a password and an and a email or a username, they can access this membership area and access your products. Would it be courses or downloadable files or something else? This is Groove member. Groove Video will be a video player. It will not be a video hosting as some other services out there. Groove Video will be a player that you basically connect your videos that are hosted somewhere else. You can put on a player and then target different people. For example, uh, you can set up an automation. Everybody that watched 50% of the video and didn't watch the rest, uh, send them one email or... Um, if somebody watches 90% of the video, show them an email form or email registration form or an opt-in form so that they can actually opt-in and then watch the rest of the video or something like this. You can do awesome stuff with Groove Video. This is coming very soon. In case you're watching the replay, you may have already this uh, these tools available to you. So just go out there, find the training on this one, and then you will be able to learn how to use it. Groovecart is very similar to Shopify. It is a e-commerce or a shopping cart platform, which is something where you put all your products on one website and then people can choose, put it into their carts and then check out with everything that they put into their carts. It's, it's very powerful. And then we have that inside GrooveFunnels. Webinar, Groove, this will be actually four different apps. One is for, uh, for live webinars. Another one is for automated webinars. One is for live streams as what we are doing now. So for Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitch, or I don't even know what other um, apps there are, but for live uh, live streams and also automated automated streams later on. Um, yes, so it will be actually four apps in one. GroovePay is an actual processing uh, pr platform that you can use. Uh, it's similar to what PayPal is or Stripe is. You will you can create an account with GroovePay and use GroovePay for processing payments.
but yeah, there's a lot of other stuff. This is just a couple of the apps that I just pulled out the screenshot. We will be focusing on Groove Pages today. The next slide. What is actually Groove Pages used for? As I mentioned previously, you can create different stuff, websites, landing pages. But here's just a couple of things that you can do. So what can you build with Groove Pages? You can build websites, as I mentioned previously, in case you're a hair salon and you want to create your website so that people can find you in Google and they can actually uh, go through your services, see your pricing, maybe contact you. This is possible to, to set up inside Groove Pages. In case you want to set up landing pages, let's say you are promoting uh, your new offer. Let's say you now have, let's just continue with this um, hairdresser uh, niche um, demo. Um, you are a hairdresser and you have a new product, a new hairstyle, and you want to create a separate page for promoting only this one. Let's say you create this page and you share this the link to this page only on Facebook. This is called landing page, that people are landing onto that page itself to actually do a specific goal that you ask them to do. So in case you put on your landing page uh, a buy now button, the goal of your landing page is for, to get people to buy this new service of yours. In case you put an email form over there on your landing page, then the goal of the landing page will be to actually uh, sign up and then get on your email list so that you can contact them later on. Landing pages have uh, most of the times one two or, or three goals max that you are asking people to do. I usually suggest you to do max two, but I seen some people do more than that. Funnels. Funnels are very important uh, pieces of marketing tool or marketing strategy that you will need to use eventually because they are the best way to sell online. Funnel is a way of selling. Let's say you offer your main product, which is, let's just continue with this hairdresser um, uh, hairdresser uh, example. Let's say you have uh, wash and dry as your main service. So wash and dry is costing $50. So in case the people come over there to your site, they purchase this uh, offer, you can upsell them. You can send them to an upsell page. So now you, that you purchased a wash and dry, maybe you want to actually um, do some hair coloring. I don't even know how it's called, but you maybe want your hair in a different color. So we have that service now. Uh, it's a one-time offer of, I don't know, $70 or something like that. So if the person buys that offer, you can send them another offer. So you actually not only sell one product, your main offer, but you sell them an upsell, which is the coloring of the hair. You can sell them maybe your different products like a hair shampoo later on and things like this. So the person's intention was uh, to come over there and purchase a wash and dry from your website, but you didn't only sell them that. You sold them automatically multiple different products. So they are bringing in more money for you. And this is basically the easiest way. It's an automated way of selling more than what the customer came and wanted at the beginning, which is very important. And I highly suggest you learn more about funnels. I am creating tutorials and video trainings on this one. So you can follow that, but not don't take only my word for it. Go through more, more information on YouTube, on Facebook, on Google. Uh, just ask from people that do funnels. It is very important to know this procedure of how to set them up so that you can make more money than you ever thought you could. Application pages. Application is, for example, as you're looking for uh, for employees, you can set up application pages with different forms. So name, last, first name, last name, phone number, date of birth, uh, short bio about you and things like this. You can set these application pages up inside Groove Pages and you can create these application forms very easily. Sales pages, you are selling something, you can create those pages very, very simply, and we will also have different templates available. However, you can create your own templates in case you want to sell them. For example, look at this image over here. You can create different templates uh, that consist of these different uh, parts of the website. You create a website like that. You can take this template and sell it to somebody else that may need it, that may want to use it for their own websites. So this is also an opportunity for you to make some money on the side. Creating blocks. So 
each one of these uh, images over here is a block. So the blocks are sections of the page. I will mention this later on as well, but it is also a possibility just to design different blocks and then uh, people can get access to these blocks. You can purchase it from you and you can actually make some money with that as well. And much, much more building websites, pages, blending pages, funnels is very complex and then you can do a lot of different things these are just some pointers on what you can do with groove pages okay so the next step is a very important question how to start creating your site or a page inside groove pages so let me just jump out of my presentation quickly and then let me just uh, actually show you i will i, I will build um, something very simple with you and i want you to learn how to do it so whenever you got your account with groove funnels the place you need to log in is app.groovefunnels.com okay once you log in using your email uh, and your password, you will come to this site over here. This is Welcome to GrooveFunnels. As you can see here, it says Get Started. Click on the menu on the left to get started with GrooveFunnels. Here are the apps I mentioned previously, and here are the apps that will be coming later on. So Future GrooveFunnels, Groove Blog, Groove Desk, Groove Calendar, Groove Survey. These are the apps I didn't even mention. There's loads more to come. So. Over here, I suggest you to scroll through everything that you have. There is a lot of different information. So in case you have some frequently asked questions, you can click over here and, and learn more about the, the questions that are asked the most inside the, inside the group and also the support. In case you're looking for support, you can click over here. In case you want to see the webinar trainings or tutorials, you click over here. In case you want to know more about GroovePay, Groove Ads, or the Groove Digital Academy, where we have the resources and trainings mm -hmm and webinar replays and courses and things like this. This is over here. So just scroll through everything over here and then click on each one of those options. I highly suggest you to familiarize, uh, sorry, familiarize yourself with what we have. We have a lot of content. You just need to find uh, the suitable content for what you need. As I mentioned previously, you can build websites, funnels, landing pages, um, some of these parts some of these builds require specific knowledge and in in here you will find the, the the places where you can find this information however this is a training on groove pages and here is groove pages under the first one in case you don't see it you can just simply click on groove funnels over here and then click on groove pages so your site or your dashboard may look a bit more, a bit different than mine over here. Um, I have an admin account, but yours will look very similar. In case you don't have any um, sites over here yet, you may need to just click on the create a new site, which will be here a box in the middle, or you can come over here in the upper right hand side corner. Um, once you click on the create a new site, this will be a site that is like a whole website online. So let me just explain what a new site is. A new site is something like a PowerPoint presentation. So you create a PowerPoint presentation and in this PowerPoint presentation, there will be different slides. These slides will be the pages on your site. So let's just create one, for example. Once you go to create a new site, you can choose if you want a blank template or choose from from these pre-made templates there is a quite a lot of these and there will be more and more added all the time so let's just choose this creative agency landing page okay so now in my site i have one page this is like having a powerpoint presentation with only one slide different slides in powerpoint would also appear for example like like this and in Groove Pages, these will be different pages on our website. So remember when you come to a, a hairdresser salon or any website um, out there, you see their home page, their contact us page, their about us page. So these, uh, these are the pages that you set up over here. So pages, and then you can create a new page. So for example, if this white page is our home page you can just click over here to create a blank page or choose from the templates that we have for example let me just say that this will be my contact page i select this design and now you can see that inside here we have 
a home page and the next page uh, that I chose this template for. So this is very simple to understand. You just need to refer back and then think about presentations. So this is my presentation. This is my main uh, slide that I have chosen. And these would act as your pages on your website. So in case you want to create a new complete website with different pages under there, you can just come over here to, to Groove Pages dashboard and create a new site. The free accounts will have three site options. In case you are a premium member, then you will have uh, either unlimited in case you are a lifetime platinum member or in case you are on a paid monthly plan, you just need to refer back to the option that you purchased. But yes, this is how a site functions. When you go into the site, you can just click simply to the open the editor. And this is now what opens up here for us as you can see this is a pre-made template that was uh, created so that you can just come in here and quickly change some things around like images or text you can just simply click in there and then actually start typing in your text we are trying to make the builder as easy to use as possible so that everybody either experienced or not experienced can jump in and start creating with this app um, Okay, so I can see a lot of questions actually in the comment section. Please, guys, if I can ask you to put in a queue and then ask your question or question and then ask your question after that so that I can refer back to it once the, the session, the, the training session has ended. So I can just scroll through the question and see or the comments and then see which one, which questions are intended for me. Okay, so this is the main builder this is the groove pages builder i will make it bigger for you so you can see more and also maybe zoom in so you can follow it a bit easier so on this side we have a couple of different options as you remember i mentioned that different sections on the page on the website for example this one over here or this one over here these are different blocks the blocks are sections of the page you have access to designed blocks something like this over here you see these are design blocks you can just simply click it drag it out and then when you release the the button it will just pop in there so now it actually allows you to simply click and then start editing your text so if i want to just type in simply edit my text there we go. As you can see, I click out and it is staying in there. Simply edit my text. It is very easy to use. So you just click in two times and then you can start typing in. Um, so these are the blocks. In case you want to modify the blocks or delete the blocks, you just click, click it over here so that it is highlighted with the green around it. And there are a couple of options that uh, appear over here. So this one, the first one is to see the, the code of this exact block the second option is to save it so for example when you are using um when you design your own blocks for example you put in here a button and then uh, change the text color or something like that and you want to save this and reuse this exact block later on this is the star button so you can click it save it and then you can reuse it from the block section again you can click this button over here to duplicate the different section. Now I clicked it and below here is the duplicate immediately available. As you see, we changed the text over here on the first one. And the second one, when it duplicated it, it is the actual copy or the clone of the first block. So it is the exact copy once we duplicate it. Or if you don't want to have that, you can just simply click on a trash can icon and this will ask you if you are sure if you want to delete it. You can just confirm or cancel in case you decided your own, uh, you have your own decision. Okay, so I want to delete these, but now we are back to the pre-designed template. So these are the design blocks. You can browse through. We have a couple uh, that are very interesting. You can use those. Or we have wireframe blocks. Wireframe blocks are non-styled blocks. These are uh, black and white and gray blocks that you can just uh, go in there, fill out the placeholder images, fill out the, the text, like, like here. Let me just drop it in here, for example. There we go. 
so you can just click over here edit the heading or the headline of this uh, block you can just click in here edit the description or the the subheading and then maybe just work with the button style the button as you want click on the image put in your image and that is it so these are the options design blocks and wireframe blocks in case you want to work with different elements so i want to now put in something extra over here you can pull in different elements as well the blocks are over here as you can see they have different elements on the page so this image is an element this headline text is an element this description text is an element this is an element as well so using this elements you can style your own in case for example you want to do um, something like that so you want to place an icon list item just above the, the the button let me see if i can position it or maybe just below the button you can just click on it basically drag it from the elements tab you click on it and then you can edit it very simply you click on the icon itself you can configure it choose the different icons that you want uh, update and then it would show up over here so it is very simple to use once you are inside inside this block the green highlight will show what you have selected when you go up you can actually see that now both of these uh, elements have been chosen in case you want to delete both of them this is how you just click delete and both of them are gone so these are the elements you can scroll through and uh, play with the different elements that we have most of them will have different configurations so for example i just want to pull this button outside here once you click the button you have different configuration over here that you can set up you can set up what the text on the button itself will be you can decide where to link this button do you want to send them somewhere else do you want to send them somewhere on your page that you have designed or do you want to send them somewhere uh, for example a different page on in, inside your site or maybe a pop-up so these are all the options that you can choose from inside the configure tab once you set it up you just need to press the update button so that it is actually uh, updating um, okay so that is about that let me just delete this and go through the elements again so in case you want to do um for example we have also forms in case you want to do forms you use these elements to create your own pre-designed forms or custom designed forms in case you want to do mock-ups for example you want to uh, to create um some design on your site that will be using mockups like these so for example inside here now you can place an image which will be displayed inside the desktop device like that you have different styles of uh, of mockups that you can use light or dark or you can just uh, play around with those options and then you need to press the update button so it is actually updating here on the canvas as well so these are the elements we also have pages which i mentioned previously when you create a new page it will be just showing up here so let me just choose for example this template so now this template is my second page that i created over here so i have now two pages in case i don't want this page to show in the search engines and also of if you have a menu on your website if you don't want it to show then you can just pull this by clicking over here and dragging it to the hidden pages in case you want to go into the settings of the page maybe set up your facebook pixel or rename the page for example i don't want this page to be called page two i can just click on these three dots edit settings and then inside here i can rename my page this will be called black here you set up the page url so when somebody types in your domain so for example uh, example domain.com this will be the forward slash black 
you can set up these page title meta keyword meta description this is very important for seo purposes you can add on custom css um, different codes for tracking and things like this you can also add on your uh, og or open graph settings there are trainings on each of these so you can uh, search through the group or on youtube for getting familiar with these options but let's just say that we now set up the page name the page url and i'm happy with that i can just click over here the check mark icon and now we can actually see that it has changed on this so this is about the pages we also have options to do pop-ups which is set up over here in this pop-ups option you create a new pop-up here you can create entry pop-ups which will be activated as soon as somebody loads in your page you can create exit pop-ups which will be uh, activated once somebody wants to exit your site if somebody comes with their mouse over here to maybe go to the back button then this pop-up would activate or you can just leave it on standard and then you can activate your pop-ups with uh, different buttons or different links that you set up um, we have different templates that you can choose from at this moment only wireframe templates in case you're watching the replay most probably you will see pre-designed templates available here as well so that is it about the pop-ups they're uh, set up very similarly to when we are setting up our sites over here um, so this is our main canvas I mentioned this options over here this is for building out your pages and in the middle over here this is our main canvas we just click on the element we want to edit and then we can choose to modify it using these options so this op these options are the actual settings of the elements so I want to now edit this logo epsom this is just an image it says it here image I can configure it choose a different image I can link it to something else or I can just uh, do a different background image or, or background color of it do some border around it um, space it out for example using margins or padding you can just add on some different spacing options I can do different sizing of it I can add on some shadow for example like that here and as you can see now there is the shadow behind the image as well so these are all options that you can set up inside this panel okay so I set it back um, yep yeah, so this is the main canvas you have the elements you click on each of the elements and different options would be available to you over here as you can see when we choose this placeholder image you have different options than when you are choosing uh, the button for example you have different configure elements you have different uh, styling options here so what is the actual styling option so you probably see it like this one without the expert mode you will not see all the option and this is for the reason that you can create uh, your site using pre-made templates and then you can just click on the text maybe resize it maybe change the color of it and then put in your different images over here and then publish it so the non-expert mode the basic mode is to actually have quick design options uh, without a much hustle and much thinking so you uh, point click change different styles and then you are on your way to actually uh, publish your page however in case you want to style it a bit more you can head over to the expert mode you turn it on and then you would see all these options um, yes so this is on that I am receiving a lot of questions and I like that so just please uh, ask your questions and I will be going back to them at the end of this stream um, yes so we have the expert mode expert mode and the non-expert mode I will be showing you different options that are available inside the expert mode because then I can give you more guidance on what each of these do does uh, when you click on text there is no configure element over here but once you click on an image for example there is a configure element over here the configure tab which you can actually use to set up different stuff or different options uh, of different elements so for example if I want to style my text my this heading over here I have different text options this will give me the option to change the font get different options for the style uh, for the sizing for the weight I can just do normal weight or black 
or just bold uh, you can put it left aligned center aligned right aligned or just middle or resize towards the full width of this container you can also uh, edit the letter spacing let me just put this in the middle you can do the letter spacing to be tight normal or wide you can play with the line height as well if you have multiple par uh, paragraphs of your your text you can do uh, loose or normal or you can see that the that the height of the the text element actually changes because there is more space between the the lines of text so let me just put put it back to letter spacing and then line height this will get it back to default you can decide to background colors you click on the background and then you just click on the on this image over here in case you want to put in uh, your own custom colors you can just do that over here select and drag it around or put in your hex code just make sure you press the check mark icon this will actually get you uh, set up with that color you can put an image as well as a background so for example i want to put this image here as the background behind my text you can set that up here you can position the different uh the, the image on where you want it to be and you can also uh, do contain as you see now the image is is repeating itself over here you can set it up on auto uh, you can different you can choose different covers you can also set it up as parallax and then when you are scrolling the image will be staying on the same place but everything else will be leaving the the view viewport of the of this element so there is different options that you can play around with uh, which is pretty cool and it's very easy to set up here inside the groove pages um, styling for for more than just a text and a background you can do different borders for example i have chosen this innovative i want to do different uh, borders so around the whole thing only on the top only on the bottom left or right you decide it here i want to just add a border around this one and now you see it is actually showing up so this is how you can set up different borders you can also make it uh, inside the borders you can make the the corners rounded I just pulled that border tab over here and now my borders are not uh, straight anymore but they are rounded a bit which is making it uh, which is allowing you to actually do more uh, stylized elements so yeah you can choose different layouts this I wouldn't like to mention that one you can do the layout of different elements uh, in case you know uh, flex code for flex boxes in case you are are working with code but in case you are not then the layout is very important once you choose a container so for example i clicked outside and i can see this green outline is my container as you can see it says here container and also up here it's, it mentions container so now when we go and choose container and then go to the layout it gives us different positioning options it gives us to position it vertically and in the center or left align right align uh, to position it in the center of the whole container and things like this this is more apparent and then more important when you are aligning images inside the inside containers so let me just quickly show you what i mean by this i want to just pull in a new container over here and then i want to put for example an icon inside i just click on the icon and drag it inside here so as you can see this green outline is my container now but i want to position this icon to be in the exact middle of it so i have chosen the container i go to the layout option position it vertically and in the center you can also position it left aligned right aligned you can put it on the bottom of the page or on the top of the page but this is all inside the layout option in case you are watching a replay of this video you most probably already have different options as well once you choose uh, the element you will have different positioning options over here in this uh in this navigation options up here at this point uh for everybody that's watching live this is not available yet this will be coming out very soon in the next couple of uh, weeks good 
so there are also different options for spacing let's just say i want to space this text away from the upper heading text so we have effective and we have we want clients and designers alike okay so i want to push this text away from the the heading so in this case i would come to the spacing option and then just apply top margin so i click on this button over here and i just pull this lever towards the middle or, and then it has been actually pushed away from the from the f word effective if you want to put it back you can just click on this text again and then uh, resize this margin back to zero where it actually was over here like that um yeah so you can also do different sizing options for example um this is important when you are working with images so let me just get something where i can show you that um I will just pull in another column and try to show you with the different um, sizing options of of text. Let's just put in a paragraph text, for example. So I want to click on this text over here, and now I can go into the sizing and then choose width so that I size it using the width, which is doing this one. As you see, I can choose different sizes or uh, I can put it relative to the parent. I can put it relative to the page, which are different options uh, that you can play with when you are designing your uh, your pages. You can also style the height or size the height using pixels, which will give be giving you these options. You can also put it relative to the parent, relative to the page, and then play around with those. In case you want, for example, this image, I want to make it so that it is full height. You can click on the image itself, size it relative to the parent, sorry, relative to the page, and just pull it all the way up so that this is 100% view uh, in the view of the whole site. So once you publish the, the page, this image will be covering the whole viewport of your screen. So these are the, the sizing options. Shadow is you can just click and choose which shadow you want for example large or medium it is applying different styling of shadow and then the last option here in this styling menu is the custom attributes in case you know css code or you know different code styling um, you can actually come to the custom attributes and style it from here put in custom css put in the elements id attribute and the, and the name and then using these information you can style it more uh, custom so this was just a brief overview of the options and the dashboard um, so let's just go and create something from from uh, from the beginning so as you remember groove pages i want to create my site that i will be actually styling now so i just want to choose a template and let's say i want to play with this yoga challenge template okay i choose this one click select and then this will be loading into my page builder so now i can just click over here um starting tomorrow join us on our yoga something like this so it's pretty simple you can click inside and then you can edit the pre-made template i want my text to be a bit a bit smaller like that so i can just click on it and then in the text size i can just pull this up and down and then make the size of the text bigger or smaller i want for example this button to have a different background color i want it to be for no reason at all i just want it to be blue okay so i just click on this blue we have different shades over here we can choose from and now we have that different style differently i want this text over here to have a different font maybe oswald like that okay let me just see so oswald like this and maybe a bit bigger and then the text i want it to be green for no apparent reason, I just want you to be able to see it. So, 
for some reason it is not applying it but this is how you would play with it um, I think this is just a bug that we would need to, to look into with this uh, template but yes it is pretty simple when you are working with different elements like images you can click on the image click the configure and then basically just choose a different image you can either upload your image over here then your images would show up here or we also have an inbuilt free stock photos library that you can choose from so for example i want to search something for yoga you press the enter button and then you have these uh, these images that are available for you these are free stock photos that you can play with so for example i click on this image i want to use this And then it is loaded into my image library. You can do different uh, resizing options. For example, now this image is very, very big, 4,000 pixels in width and then 2,000 or almost 3,000 pixels in height. So I just need it to be 600 pixels in width. So I'll just click 600 or type in 600 update dimensions. And then using this, the content is saved i'm using a much smaller version of the original image so as you can see it is now 600 by three uh, 399 pixels i can just click update and this image has updated inside here so it's very easy to just choose images change the text over and then uh, you can use these templates very simply well, you see uh, styling icons is very interesting when you are using uh, when you are using here an, an icon you can click on this icon and choose different icons for example I want to use the apple I click on the apple and then the apple is now visible however it has different color so in case you don't want to style the 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 icon using these options over here in the configure tab you can design them and style them using the text element as well so inside the text you can just choose and maybe apply a different color of it as you can see now it has changed you can also resize them using the text element here it is now getting bigger and smaller so this is just a trick that you can use inside the page builder itself you can configure it with the, these options as well but it doesn't give you the the flexible sizing as we have there it just says XL 3XL so you would need to know what those sizes are then you can also choose different colors however myself I'm usually styling it using the text options over here and then making it bigger or smaller great so that is approximately it what I wanted to share with the different styling options on the right hand sidebar I want to just point out this menu over here this is the responsiveness menu. This is meaning that you can design your site to be uh, also beautiful on smaller devices, such as mobile phones or vertical or horizontal tablets or maybe laptops and desktops over here. So if, if you want to design, for example, your page on a desktop, but also design it for, for every other device, you would leave it as it is. In case you just want to, to edit something else for example i want to edit only this menu and if i change something i want only on the horizontal tablet view for this to change you click it one more time so only the one device would be highlighted and this would actually let you design or modify the page only on this device for some reason it's not allowing me to to play with it let me just see it one more time okay so i am now making it smaller so on this device it will be small but in, in case i go back the rest of the the devices it will be actually uh not changing because we just changed it on this device only you can style it on smaller devices on each device separately or you can just de de click one more time and all the devices would be showing up if you don't want to to use the changes that you, you you did you can just go back using the undo or the redo button this eye icon will be using for previewing the design so once we change something we can just preview the design in case you set up your links in case you set up some functionality for example buttons it would not 
allow you to click on it and it would not guide you to that link that you set up. This preview is only for previewing your design. It is not previewing the functionality of it. For that one, you would need to publish the page. We'll get to that later on. In case you want to, to play with the code itself, you can click on this button itself and reveal the, uh, the, the source code. So in case you are familiar with code, you can just go in there and then change some different uh, parts of it. But in case you don't know how to play with these code elements like CSS and HTML and JavaScript, I don't suggest you to go in there for, for any reason. Um, in case you just want to save the the changes that you did, you click on the save button. It is now saving, and once it's saved, it will actually give you a notification in a green box on the, at the bottom of the page that it has been saved, or you can also publish it. When you're publishing your site, you have a couple of different options. You can publish it on a Groove Pages subdomain, which means that we will actually host this website for you. So a lot of people were asking us about hosting. Once you join GrooveFunnels, we actually host your websites and pages for you. So you don't have to purchase hosting. You don't have to go into different options on, on shared hosting or private hosting, cloud hosting, and things like this. We have professional servers, private servers with Google that we use for our own company. And all of our customer sites are published on Google servers, which are very, very um, fast. And this is why we chose those. You can choose to to publish it on our on our subdomain, which you can set up over here. You can just type in, for example, for my case, I typed in lemon, and if I if I submit it, it would be lemon.groovepages.com. This would be my subdomain. So if I decide to publish this site, I would need to click over here and then add it a name, add the name of it. So for this case, it will be yoga. Okay, so once I did this one, I chose to host a site with proof pages. I clicked on this button. I typed in the name I want so I can easily publish it. And now this, okay, it is giving us an error. Something must have gone wrong. But now this would be the actual domain once the site is published correctly. Um, I think I would need to refresh the page, but I will just leave it out for now. In case you want to publish with your own domain you can just click over here and type in your own domain i have made separate videos on how to connect your own domain to groove pages so in case you're interested in learning that you can just search on youtube uh, on our youtube channel connecting your custom domain or you can search inside the facebook group i have actually made a couple of videos over there so Let's say that you have your own domain, which is um, Jess, Jessica's Yoga site. Yes, uh, yoga site.com or something like this. You can just click over here, this white box. You check it, Jessica's Yoga site, and then you click the publish. For me, it will probably not publish because it is showing up some error message, but this is how you would do that. Okay, so that is basically it on publishing and on this upper menu. When you have multiple pages, you can just reveal the different pages over here so that you can just quickly uh, click on them and then um, edit the page that you would like. Inside here, you can see there is a hamburger menu, hamburger icon. You can click over here to reveal a couple of more options. For this, this one, you will not have these options. This is showing up on my account because I have an admin account. However, you have different site settings. You can export the site. You can go back and see the revisions of the site. For example, when you do ch some changes on your site, you can go back and reveal the changes. So you click on that eye icon, and then it will be showing you the different changes that you did on the, on the site itself. So for example, as you can see here, we have this image and maybe the, the, the color is different. We can reveal the different uh, changes. So the color over here at 1847 uh, was not changed. And also the this image is not changed as well. So we can refer back to it. Once we clicked inside, you can just click use this version and then we are back where we started. So in case there was a big hiccup that you don't want to keep, you can just refer back or revert back to the previous versions of your site. Um, 
Perfect. So inside here, you still have different options like uh, site settings. So these are the settings to set up different uh, settings on the site level. I showed you previously on the page level that you can set up the different name of the page. In here, you set up the name of your site. So in case you have the website's name is uh, Jessica, Jessica's uh, yoga site. This is where you would set up the website name. If you want to add a favicon, favicon is the logo that shows up here in the in the tab when somebody's browsing your website. You can upload that here. You can do also custom CSS and different tracking codes and also the open graph social share settings. You can set it up here. Um, once you did some changes, make sure you are pressing the check mark. Otherwise, it wouldn't be saved. Once you're done with that, you can go through to different integrations in case you want to connect this Groove pages with different apps outside there. You can also uh, see your account settings, uh, your contact details, business details, and then change your settings. In here, there will be more options on, uh, on setting up your language later on. At this moment, we only have two languages available. Later on, we will be adding on different languages. So this is where you will be able to set them up inside your account settings. Um, and also you can go through these options to see what each of these does but at this point I would just like to continue with giving you the information of what you can do with this Groove Pages so how to start creating my site you saw simply click on the, the create new site or a new site button choose a template and then you can start working with it so this is where this is the editing of pre-made templates but what if you want to create your custom pages so not a pre-made template, but something from scratch. So you can start a new site with that. So for example, let me just go back. You can start and mm, let me just exit it from here. You can start a new site with a blank template, or you can also go into an existing site and just create a new blank page. So when you click on the page, you can cre uh, create just a blank page over here. So it will uh, allow you to customize it as you want it. What I usually do when I'm designing my sites is I use these blocks, the wireframe blocks. So for example, I want, um, I want a cover block to be over here on my site at the beginning, for example, something like this. So this will be where I will put a big background image, put some headline and some description. Then the next block would be some content here. Maybe I would add in some text below that. I just click on the block and drag it out. So now my site looks like this. So the next would be probably some, I don't know, maybe some um, form. You can do a different form, maybe some subscription form. You add it on here. You can do a different gallery. Let me just drag it over here below. Here we go. So you can do different galleries. And this is how I usually style my pages. So then later on, you can just click inside, modify the different options, put in your colors, put in your images, put in your fonts and your uh, and your uh, sizes and you are basically done with editing your pages it's very simple if you want to create something something really from scratch using the empty containers you can do that one as well you can choose for example an empty container and then here pull in different elements i want to have a heading one i want to have some some image for example and i want to have I don't know. Let's just put in a paragraph text below the image itself. There we go. So now you can style it from here. You can click on the, the text. You can center it on the page. You can add on some different size of it. You can choose different font and things like this. So you can really customize it for uh, how you would like it to look like. But yes, this is approximately everything I want to mention on creating your own custom pages and custom designs. There is the option to choose these wireframe blocks and also to use the empty blocks over here in the wireframes, empty. You can use these blocks and then you can play with these and create your awesome designs using these options. 
So the next step is the publishing the pages. I I went over this briefly. Um, let me see if I can try it now. Maybe it works once I refreshed it. So I will just publish it on T E E S T. Publish. And yeah, it is not giving me the option to to publish it. it there is some uh, some error now. I would just need to uh, clear the cache of my browser, and then it would probably be working again. But yes, this is approximately it. What I wanted to mention about the builder itself. It was a very very brief overview. You can do a lot more than what I mentioned here. I just wanted to have the gist of it, the the basic principles, and what you would need to do in order to have your sites modified to the to the way you would like it to be and what are all the options that you can click inside and to be changed and looking like as you want it so now i think we are ready for the q a time it is uh, an hour past already from when we started and i will be taking your questions so in case you didn't pop in your questions yet inside the comment section please head over there type in your comments and then I will be taking them one by one and getting you answered. Okay, let me just scroll up. Dun, 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 dun. Facebook user was asking, will we be able to listen to a replay? Absolutely, all our videos have replays. Uh, my videos are live streams and we We'll stream them immediately on Facebook and YouTube as well at the same time. So both of the replays will be available on both of those places. Um, is it using the new Groove Pages editor? Yes. So we are using the new Groove Pages editor. Okay. Let's just see. David Lemon, please let me get your presentation slides again. Moving forward, I want all of them. Okay, good, Eric, no problem at all. I will publish them inside the, the comments at the end of this uh, Q&A session. Okay, dun, dun, dun. I'm just crawling through, watching where there is a queue or a question mentioned. So there is from Keisha. Hi, David, can you please hold a, uh, a future training on how to sell our own templates or blocks? So actually, I did a training on this one on, uh, you can watch it on YouTube. So uh, on Designs Groove Pages. There is make money through your designs using Groove Pages. So you can actually watch this video, Keisha, and then you can uh, have a look. It's a video of one hour and 45 minutes, which goes in depth on how how I would do that and how uh, you can get this set up. Um, question from Leonard or Leonard Simmons. I purchased the domain name, but I didn't purchase hosting. Do I need hosting also, or is just pointing my domain to GrooveFunnel enough? Um, you don't need to purchase hosting. I mentioned it uh, during the live stream. I'm not quite sure if you heard it, but once you are on a free account, you have three sites that we will host for you. In case you are on a platinum or a paid account, you have actual uh actually multiple sites that you can host with groove pages uh, and on the groove pages servers so we will be hosting them for you it is similar uh to other services like click funnels and uh, breezy cloud and um, i don't know convertry and these page builders that are online it's not something like wordpress where you have to actually install it on your servers these online builders are actually already on servers and we are hosting your websites for you uh, and then to answer your other questions getting your domain pointed to groove pages is enough okay tan chen yit is asking i can uh, create numerous pages but i'm not successful in linking them example uh, i have about an about page and I have a drop down but when I click the drop down nothing happens cannot navigate to another page um, you would probably need to get this checked by the support team Tan, um, I will quickly guide you through on how you can create these navigation menus for example I have now two pages on my site on the first site on my yoga challenge I want to actually create a navigation menu but maybe 
do it somewhere over here so I will go to the elements and then choose a navigation for example here above this one okay so it is not styled properly let me just delete this one and pull in a block an actual Mm -hmm. bar. okay I want to delete this one and I will actually pull in a navigation bar from here this blue one okay so now you can see yoga challenge landing page and the page two so these are the two pages that are showing up in case you want to stack them on top of each other so that only yoga challenge is showing up and the page two is showing up in a drop down menu below it you would just need to pull to take this one and then pull it below so as you see now indented it over here and once you go to the yoga challenge it will be showing up drop down and the page two will be below that one we will not be able to see the different changes when we go over here and clicking on the page it will not show up but as you can see here in the uh, upper left hand side corner it is actually showing the link where it will be sending the page uh, where the click will be going once the page is published so in the preview you cannot see and you cannot have the functionality once you publish your page you will be able to see the functionality and you will be able to uh, click the different uh, links when you have the page published um, okay is the star option a new feature as i do not see it available for me um i don't think so let me just quickly log in to my other account which is not an admin account so when you come into the block section it is actually showing up here and I don't have uh, an admin account this time what you need to be making sure that this is showing up on the block section sometimes when you're on container it will not show up you need to make sure that you are on the block section then the star would be there question from Carmen will you be able to show us how to how we connect our card to our sales page the integration part so that it all triggers uh, or is there a specific training you can tag me on for this uh, Carmen I actually created uh, a training yesterday on creating uh, funnels in groove pages and this is It's probably not showing up yet in the search because this is a very fresh video from yesterday so let me just go into the channel and then show you which video you would need to look for creating a funnel with upsell and a downsell uh, using groove cell and groove pages this was streamed yesterday as you can see and this is the video you would need to watch for this will explain you how to actually create the the card to your sales page pum, pum, pum. question from Keisha um, question on elements should I only drag an element into a container can I drag an element onto a blank space with no container I'm not sure so I always place a container first my breadcrumbs at the bottom get really long with a lot of containers which make me think I may not be using best practice when bringing in elements so what I do suggest in these cases uh, Keisha is to actually um, see what you want to design so let me just try to open up a template and then show you what I mean by see what you want to design so if you want to design something like this where you have for example one block where you have uh, two columns so this is one column and this is the other column as you can see this column is empty it is blank but over here this column has uh, some heading some description and the button so you only need to to use the containers and the elements uh, that you actually want to have published so what I would do is to recreate that part I'll start from scratch so I would go into the blocks wireframes empty and here uh, pull in a container like this and then you can choose a two column element like that so here you would paste in the 
the text and the different buttons and over here you would just leave it empty or you can also do this way you go to blocks wireframe empty and you just choose this one this is the same thing what it does is actually choosing a block container layout two by two and then each one of these columns is a container on itself so then you would just pull in the the text and the buttons and over here you would just leave it empty so this is how you need to design in case you have more complex um, layouts and designs i suggest you to use um, the different different column layouts and the different blocks that you have already pre-made um, it will be making it very simple to to know which one you need to edit and resize and space out uh, later on when you do this what rights do we have to use the images in the templates so michael this is a good question when you have the when you are using the images from the template library for the image library let me just try to do something like that so in here in the gallery i want this image to be something from the free stock photos so these are actually free stock photos which are available for everybody on online in the world these are from pages like pixabay or unsplash uh, which are free publicly posted stock photo uh, photos uh, for which you don't have to have license so in case you search for something like mountains you can just click on, on on this one and you can use it actually in the designs that you are creating these are free like uh, non-licensed uh, images that you can basically use on designs or uh, and on your pages can you please show us again how you can select and deselect the platforms at the top cell phone uh, tablet desktop and how to choose platform design design cell versus design for desktop so there is a more in-depth video on this one and this is available inside the facebook page i will link it in there for you however in case you have your own designs i will just start with uh, a template so for example this template over here so now you can see we are on the desktop there is a laptop view tablet view uh, vertical tablet view and a mobile view so whenever you want to design um, for example only for the mobile view then you click it one more time so that only this device is highlighted so now i can change something over here okay let me just click out click back in i can change the the styling put it on the 6 rem only on the mobile view but when i go back to the different devices okay so this is now changing it is it is not going to be changing when you design it for one mobile i think i just need to uh clear my cache on the on the design but i will link in the video on where i actually show this one so you can follow that um but this is the gist of it so when you click on it only the one device is highlighted you are editing only one device when you click on the other device then you are editing only this device this device this device this device again when you want to design for everything you click it again and then all of them are highlighted and you are basically changing it on this device but everywhere else is changing as well okay how do you make the photo parallax so for example um we'll try to go back on one of these templates let's just select this one and then in the background over here on this block i have this image so i will just click on the parallax like that and now whenever i'm scrolling up or down i can actually use this parallax uh, effect so it is just a one click rub a very simple most of the time this is available or it is only available inside the background uh, sections so for example if you have an image it is not available in the configurations of the images but in case you want to set up uh, the background of the of the block or of a container 
this will be available. So I want to set up the background of this white container to, to show up, for example, as a, like that. And I want to actually have this as a parallax. I click it and then when we are scrolling up or down, it will be showing up as a parallax. Can you delete an image in your image library? Yes, you can. So when you go to choose the image, you click on the image and here below the update dimensions, you have the delete button. You click it only once and then it will be going away from your uh, from your library. Heather questions, are templates pre-designed to have one H1? Is there a way to quickly know which is an H1 versus H2 or H3 on a template? The templates are pre-designed with those. At this point, the, the text size is the giveaway. So in case uh, you have it over here, um, I help un people unlock their full, pot full potential. It is basically the, the heading one. Everything else will be the different um, different options like that yeah is there a way to have on your menu to stay static on the header i have a separate video on this one inside a facebook group so in the groove digital official facebook group in case you come and uh, see the tutorial videos so in the popular topics in post you will see tutorial videos and this is where there is a training on this one let me just make it bigger for you guys uh, are you wondering how to create sticky headers and navigation bars um, this is available in here um, so you can just copy over this code i show it in the video and then you can actually get the sticky headers at this point it is not built inside the builder itself but this is something that will be uh, available uh, after some time. Um, will there be folders available for different domain to to save our pages and sites? Um, I'm not quite sure. This is a good feature request, Rob, in case you head over to feedback. Feedback.groovefunnels.com. You can actually uh, see a folder. Organize images into folders, import uh, of websites from folders. Um, you can search from, for, for different options here and then vote up the ones that you'd like. Um, I think this is a great idea though. Does Groove allow WebP image format files? At this point, Ricardo, it doesn't. Trace. When publishing to your own domain, will it ask you to verify ownership at all? I'm thinking it would, but I didn't notice it uh, there just now. So in case you are uh, publishing to your own domain, I suggest you to go and watch the video that I created on that one, which is, let me see if I can find it here for you. We have a lot of videos. So there is a video that is called Full Guide on Getting Your Domain Connected to Groove Pages. I suggest you to watch this one through step by step. It will actually show you how to connect your domain. It is not only going into the uh, to publishing option, to pu putting in your domain over here, and then hitting the publish button. You actually need to connect it to your domain. You need to connect it to Groove Pages. And in this video, I actually explain it step-by-step uh, step on how you can do that um, okay let's just see uh, the red check mark save process is ambiguous can this be set a yellow or other color as soon as the changes become dirty or not yet saved once we click on the check uh, check mark it becomes greed green or red again um, check mark save process is ambiguous I'm not quite sure what red check mark save um, do you mean this one when you do something then it becomes uh, red um, I'm not quite sure I understand your question question from Leonard when we create our pages we have to enter the slug so you need to name your page in case you're hosting it with the 
with groove pages you need to add a name on it so in this case i have boom.groovepages.com in case i would publish this page it would be called purple so it would be boom.groovepages.com forward slash purple okay so this would be my name but yes you need to add on uh, a slug or the forward slash name any difference on using macbook pro mm, not that i know of no you just need to use uh, Google Chrome for the builder to work uh, flawlessly on other uh, browsers the, the this groove funnels is not working 100% yet it will be optimized later on once the the builder is out of the beta so as you can see it is at this point in in beta okay so questions what is the name of the youtube channel the youtube channel name is groove digital so you can come over here youtube.com groove digital this will be dropping you in to the to our youtube channel in here can i connect my domain to my page now while building my website um yes you can you just need to follow some certain steps and this is where i suggest you to watch the video um, you need to connect it to cloudflare or uh, to your domain hosting so, uh, domain uh, name provider so that you can actually uh, use it and in this video i go step by step on how to do that we also have videos in the groove digital academy there are videos on how to actually do this one shorter videos my video on here is an hour long where i go very in depth and step by step but once you log into the groove digital academy you can see very short videos on how to do that so inside the groove funnels training you have groove pages publish your site you can come over here and then see these smaller videos which are eight minutes long um and publishing your pages to group pages subdomain which is just four minutes long so this is what you would need to watch in order to actually uh, be able to connect your custom domain with group pages uh, can you please show which video tutorial about connecting your autoresponder thank you so at this point i don't have a lot of uh videos on connecting autoresponders most of the uh of the processes are very similar so you come into the integrations and there you add a new integration you choose which one you would like to have and then from here you can set it up so you can set it up uh, with motic or um, i don't know aweber active campaign you click on it and then you just need to input the details that it gives you or for example avaber you need to log in to your actual avaber account over here you click here and then this is where you log in my name is sydney alert i had uh, to be late didn't enter my name and stream um, i need an opt-in page is there a ready-made template for that lead magnet email collector collection and then need somewhere to publish would i Put it on my own website or are if <laughs> yes so please sydney watch this video from the beginning um you will be able to publish it with groove pages and we do have templates available for this one for example there is this template for uh, okay so not this but uh, there is one i think this one is for lead generation it is pretty cool um look at it it's very nice uh, the, the form is already set up you can just decide if you need all of this information if you don't want you can just delete this part and then edit your text edit your background image and just republish it if you don't want this countdown timer you can just get rid of it and yeah just choose the template and then start working with it um and you don't have to have hosting with this uh page builder here Okay. Dun, dun, dun. Question: Is this an open source app? No, it is not. Question: The pages are search engine friendly on page SEO. Yes. So I have a video on that one where I explain exactly what is the benefits of uh, using uh, Groove Pages SEO. 
basic SEO principles when using group pages. Watch this video. I highly suggest that it is very important to know what uh, and why is it better uh, than other options out there. Okay, I think the last question over here, um, the check, the red check mark is on the site setting page. Okay. So over here, site settings. So this red check mark, okay. Uh, yeah, so when you change something, you need to press this one, but it doesn't give you the option of when it needs to be saved or when it is not. This is a good feature request that I can actually uh, request the developers to maybe add on, which is a smart thing to do. Thank you very much, Facebook user. I'm not quite uh, sure who you are, but thank you very much for that. I will I will forward the, the information onwards. Uh, Sydney, as you scrolled, I saw the video on opt-in pages. I can't find it. Is it in the YouTube channel? Yes, please head over to youtube.com forward slash groove digital. And in here, you can find different uh, videos that I created um, and also that we have. So this is where you can see the different opt-in pages and, uh, for example, blending pages, one-page lead generation website and things like this. So there's a loads uh, building out an opt-in funnel using groove pages and things like this. So you can, uh, you can go through and watch the videos and just use the search bar over here. You will get a lot of different information from here. Yes, but that is it, guys. I don't have any questions. So this was a complete beginner's guide to working with Groove Pages. I do hope you managed to learn something uh, useful that you will be able to uh, to use when you are starting out. I will uh, be doing a full timestamp on this video from tomorrow. You will have a timestamp video on of this uh, whole session. So. Uh, in case you don't want to watch the whole thing again, the whole way through, you can just simply click on different uh, different sections, which I mentioned. So if I mentioned publishing, you can click on publishing and then see that part. In case you want to watch the introduction to, to the left-hand side of the options on in the build, you can watch that part. Uh, but yes, we'll have a time-stamped uh, version of the video in the YouTube channel, so you can go there and then uh, watch the video with the timestamps. However, this is the end of my presentation. Uh, actually, there is an, another question from Michael. Uh, one of my Groove free account friends said they ran into 30 image limit in the image gallery. Is that true? And is it only a limit for free accounts? I don't think so, Michael. I don't. I'm not aware of any limits on in the image gallery. If you are using a lot. At the same time, for example, in case you are using a lot of images in an hour, it will have a limit. So you just need to refresh your page, probably log out, and then go back in. Because the image library is working through an API connection, which is contacting the different uh, platform and then sending and receiving uh, information. When you download a lot of different images at the same time, it could say that there is like a... Uh, limit is exceeded or something like that but you just need to wait a bit and then you can still use it later on it's just that too many uh, too many images are being imported and it looks uh, it looks like a problem to the software so this could be the reason why you are getting those issues this is being fixed and I reported that to our developers I think they will be increasing this limit but I'm not aware of the 30 image a limit only the the sending and receiving in, uh, information from api limit but yes this is approximately it thank you very much guys for watching please ask questions in the facebook group and also use the search functions most of the questions that you are uh, experiencing or that you are remembering were already answered either uh, in the videos, either in the Facebook group, either in the support. So just please try to use the search function as much as possible. And if you really need some help with something later on, uh, the Facebook community is always there to help you as well as the support team. But yes, this is David Lemon. I'm signing off. I hope you will be there for, for the live uh, webinar today with Mike where he is 
unveiling the future of Groove Funnels. So if you if you are watching the live stream now, please join us at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The link is in the Facebook group. Go there, register it, and then watch Mike unveil the reveal the future of group funnels that being said i hope and wish to see you there and then yes thank you much for watching this video